I've just got back from my first ever trip to Iceland. Channel Mum and Iceland kindly gave me £50 worth of vouchers to go and do my weekly shop in an Iceland store. Never been to one before. I've really enjoyed watching all the other Channel Mum vloggers doing their Iceland hauls so I really couldn't wait to go and do mine. The first thing I noticed is how much I got for my money. I can't believe I got, I'll show you in the bags, but there's two big bags of groceries there. And you know when you fill your trolley when you're shopping and you think, this isn't gonna be cheap. I spent 66 pounds and I think I got so much for my money. So I will empty the bags and show you what I picked up. Wow, that's a lot of food for 66 pounds. <laughs> so I picked up a couple of packs of chicken skewers. I got these chicken and chorizo kebabs, which look really delicious, and some peri peri chicken skewers. Then for the kids, I picked up these chicken breast fillet strips and they're made with 100% chicken breast fillet. These, which are uh, sweet potato fries, I got two bags of these because I am obsessed with them anyway. I haven't tried the Iceland ones but I've heard some really good things about them. I was really intrigued by this um, Cook From Frozen boneless easy carb spatchcock chicken. We love roast chicken in this house but sometimes it's just nice to take a slightly easier option and go for one which cooks quicker and it's easy to carve at the end because that is my least favourite part of serving a roast chicken. I thought I might have the chicken with one of these, either the zesty bean quinoa or the couscous with vegetables. We eat loads of quinoa and couscous in this house anyway and I always combine it with roasted veg or something like that so I thought this might make a nice, slightly quicker, more convenient alternative. I can spot some edamame beans in there. Yep, soya beans, and they are my absolute favourite, so that's even better. I think these are going to be so nice. They're piri piri sweet potato burgers. So many people have been raving about these. I've never tried them. They look incredible. My husband is a massive burger fan. They are the six ounce Wagyu, Wagyu burgers, made with 100% grass-fed New Zealand Wagyu beef. They look really good, and I think they're going to be the first thing we try. We'll have them tonight with again sweet potato fries which is why i bought two bags and some of the um freshly frozen mini corn cobs the kids love these this i blame stacy for stacy is one of my channel mum friends and ever since i saw her haul from iceland which she bought this i haven't been able to stop thinking about it so stacy this is your fault these tempura battered cod fillets look really yummy and i thought they'd be nice with some tartar sauce and some veg for the kids they really like fish cakes i tend to make my own but it is such a faffy thing to make with all the mashed potato and everything so these are good when i'm in a hurry and want to give them something quick and easy ribs are my elder son dylan's favorite food whenever we go out to a restaurant he always looks for ribs on the menu, bless him. But I've never, for some reason, I've never bought them from a supermarket. It just hasn't occurred to me. But I spotted these barbecue sauce flavoured with Jim Beam and I thought they look really good. I picked up some lollies, Majestic Minis, Limoncello flavour. Not going to lie, they're probably going to go to me and not the kids. But I might, I might let them try one. And more for the kids, the bubblegum swirl lollies. And then I couldn't leave this there, it looks incredible. It's Italian gelato, and you can see inside the packaging that it's all separated into different flavours. Got a mixture of peach and mango, lemon, strawberry and cherry gelato. Can't wait to try that. And the last of the frozen bits and pieces, I thought these were such a good idea. Bake from frozen, pan au chocolat, and maple and pecan danish they only take i think 20 yeah 20 to 22 minutes from frozen then aside from the frozen stuff i picked up some fresh fruit and veg i got some strawberries and they look like really nice strawberries and it's a big pennant for two pounds which i was impressed with some baby plum tomatoes a bag of crispy salad leaves to go with the burgers some mixed peppers for a pound and a bag of five bananas. I also picked up a big tub of coleslaw which I thought would be really nice with the ribs and the sweet corn. I was really pleased to see these. I've never noticed brioche rolls in supermarkets before for burgers so we'll try those with the Wagyu burgers tonight. Scotch pancakes, tortilla wrap, my kids go bonkers for cereal variety pack. These were half price, so I picked up one of those. I'll be the most popular mum ever in the morning. I'm 
not sure why I picked this up. I can't remember what my thinking was behind getting this, but I just got some squirty cream. Maybe it was to add some extra calories to the banoffee pie. This looks really delicious. It was in the chiller cabinet. It's strawberry and banana smoothie. One of you five a day. Aiden loves smoothies. Result. Last but not least, Aiden's favourite treat in the whole world, and they were on offer. I think they were half price. Barney Bears. So that's what I picked up in my first ever grocery shopping trip to Iceland. I was so impressed with the selection and what was on offer. I can't wait to write up my meal plan now for the rest of the week. If you shop at Iceland and you think I missed out on something that I should try, please leave it in the comments below because I will definitely be going back and I'd love to hear your recommendations. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a like if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're new and I'll see you next week.